Did you know that a study conducted in 2022 revealed that over half of consumers trust influencers more than traditional brand messages? It's safe to say that times have changed and merely offering a good product or service isn't enough anymore. And this shift is not only changing how businesses communicate to their audiences, it's reshaping the very essence of branding, making the development of a strong personal brand a necessity really, not a choice. And so today I'm here to guide you through the three questions, what is personal branding, where does personal branding come from, and why does personal branding matter for your business? Whether you're an entrepreneur who's just starting out or a service provider with years under your belt or a professional who's a real expert in your field, personal branding is about creating the best possible opportunities for you and your business. Let's dive right in. What is personal branding? So whether you realize it or not, you actually already have a brand. That's right. Your brand is not a fancy logo or a sleek website. It's the mark that you leave in people's minds. The impression that stays long after you've left the room. It's a mix of the things you do, what you say, how you carry yourself, built from how people perceive you. Now, personal branding is about grabbing the reins of that impression instead of letting it all just happen randomly. And I know you might be wondering, isn't this all about Instagram and celebrities? Not at all. It's time for a brief history on personal branding. Let's rewind a bit. It's the 90s, in the time of grunge music, the fall of the German wall, the rise of the global economy, and you've guessed it, the internet. Blogging culture came to be, and Gen Xers who grew up during the economic downturn were driven to stand out and succeed. Later, the same Gen Xers would experience a boost of opportunity during the so-called dot-com boom. A time when it seemed like anyone could become successful by starting an online business. And this is what you could call today the first wave of personal branding in the digital age. But that wasn't all. Fast forward to the early 2000s where two major events would start to change consumer behavior forever. The 2008 recession and the rise of social media. As people started distrusting big companies, millennials began to doubt the promises of these large corporations. Their solution? They put their faith in people. And while we tend to think about all the Kimmies of the world, the rise of social media wasn't just a playground for narcissists. It blew the doors wide open for niches and micro markets, hungry for authenticity, good content, and new business models. But enough of the history lesson. The big question is how can you leverage this shift for yourself and your business. Hey, and if you find these videos helpful, make sure to like and subscribe so the algorithm shows it to more people like you. Okay, so the main goal of your personal brand should be to showcase your skills and your experiences and channeling them into a platform you're building for yourself. Most people who do this very well create powerful content that speaks volumes. Others choose to do this through giving speeches that echo long after they're given. But it's not all about skills and experiences. An Accenture study revealed that 63% of consumers are more likely to purchase from those whose values and beliefs align with their own. So creating a personal brand isn't only about showcasing skills, experiences, and achievements. It's also, and and most importantly, about diving deep into what you care for and why you chose to be doing what you're doing. And this is how you become magnetic for the right connections, clients, and opportunities. When people really deeply resonate with your values, you're not only creating an audience of potential clients, you're building a loyal community of people who advocate for you even when you're not around. And these advocates don't only contribute to your revenue, they actually become the backbone of your brand, spreading the word and expanding your reach exponentially. And so as you can see, personal branding is not just about selling a product or a service. It's about sharing a journey people eagerly want to join, fostering connections that lead to business resilience, and making personal branding your pathway to personal growth. And I get it, maybe you don't know where to start 
or you're unsure about putting yourself out there. Whatever it is, remember that creating your personal brand can actually be a fulfilling experience and one that transcends your business. So let me know in the comments below what is stopping you from taking the reins of your brand today. And if you want to learn more about kicking off your personal brand, you might want to check out this playlist right here. Take care and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.